up, people? My name's Timmy Joe. Make videos about computers on the internet. We got our Ryzen 2400G APU. We got our Gigabyte motherboard, our Viper 3000 megahertz RAM. And what better place to put it than inside of an Xbox? Haha, <laughs> making my own Xbox. I can do it better. Well, probably not better. At least not better than the Xbox One X. But I'd be hoping that this is at least as good as an Xbox One, like the regular old version. So, yeah, here we are. I have, you just saw me shove all the technology of a PC with four cores, eight threads, Vega graphics, and, uh, you know, a few other goodies into the skin of an Xbox. And hell, I kept all the functionality of a few things, and I didn't even, you know, it doesn't even have an external power brick, which is an advantage over this original, you know, version. Things are getting tiny, and I thought, what can we do, you know? I was looking at all the SFX and, you know, the uh, ITX cases that are out there, and it all kind of bored me. It's kind of a, you know, a thing that manufacturers have been avoiding, or not really, except for Silverstone and, uh, you know, Inwin, a few of those guys. No one been making cool small form factor cases uh you know except for a few niche markets and I figured hell i'll make my own so here we are after uh you know at least three days worth of tinkering you know buying parts you know opening things up making things happen here's you know we're on the home stretch here's my xbox it's in there it's got you know standoffs holding the motherboard it's got its own power supply i ripped out of an old dell optiplex it's the perfect size to fit in this thing it doesn't have the original cage that held the motherboard of the xbox and we're down to one fan the cpu fan the amd wraith cooler the uh wraith spire that came with my ryzen 7 1700 and we heck we even maintained the uh xbox's um hard drive holder and i put two of them in there a uh, 120 gig ssd and a 500 gig uh games drive and they're both wired in the original compartment and they're gonna just plop right in there and then all the uh original buttons you know the button out here is gonna work there's an uh front mounted usb there's uh you know no cd-rom because who needs a cd-rom these days but i uh hot snotted the wireless transceiver for the uh the wireless on here right in the front there so we're gonna have some good wireless reception and it's not gonna have any like antennas sticking out so like all in all except for this giant hole i had to drill for the cooling man this is gonna go together sweet i think I'm just hoping that there's no thermal issues maybe we can even get a bit of an overclock on the cpu but i'm mostly concerned with an overclock on the gpu once we get that all going and we you know have the wraith lit up because this is the led version with the rgb built into it uh, I think this is just going to look so freaking snazzy that I made my own Xbox. I mean, who's who's doing that? Like, I've seen people do this, put, uh, you know, an ITX motherboard inside of an Xbox before, but never with this kind of power because this kind of power just wasn't available before unless you put a dedicated graphics card in it. And then I think that would be an entirely different sort of uh, video or feat to accomplish that but with the onboard APU here I'm assuming we're gonna be able to play some pretty sweet uh, video games and heck maybe even at one point I'll get an Xbox one I don't think the uh, the newer Xbox one X or whatever the 4k version would stand a candle to this thing like I think for sure we kick the pants off of it but you know this versus the original Xbox one I think that there's something to be uh, you know said there and we should do a little comparison video but I think we need to go ahead and get this thing completed because I've I got days into it and I just can't wait to see it on underneath my TV stand and you know that was the goal was to put it on my TV stand and have what, what's basically an appliance that's been under TV stands for years no one's gonna look twice at it and then you know when they go hey let's play some Xbox I'm gonna say no sir let's play some steam games and you know I've got Xbox controllers we can plug into this thing it's gonna be a good old time so Let's get this thing rolling, and we will put all of the panels back on, make sure they fit, and then we'll do a little bit of load testing and see if the one cooling solution on this thing is good enough, and uh, make sure everything works, but I'm anticipating quite an awesome result, so cue it up, Timmy Joe. Romper Stomper, Bomper Boom, Tell Me Tell Me. I see Alex, I see Gene, I see Jimmy, I see Rhonda.
Alrighty, we are playing Wolfenstein, The New Colossus, a brand new title on an AMD uh, Vega APU shoved into my own personal Xbox that I created. We're killing Nazis with an Xbox 360 controller hooked up to this thing, and I just, I'm really enjoying the outcome. And it, 30 frames a second, medium settings, and I haven't even really configured this thing yet. It needs a little bit, oh, I think I just... I think I just threw a, a grenade. Uh, it definitely needs some some tweaking. Uh, I'm not really happy with the temperatures. I had to set a pretty high fan profile, mind you. The Wraith fires only, you know, it, it doesn't get too too loud. Uh, the the Wraith fan, and it's not going to be you know an issue to have the fan profile set high. But I might consider other cooling options. Good thing I you know cut a hole in the freaking side of the thing. <laughs> uh, but you know what? It, it's pretty playable with this game at medium settings 1080p like it looks really good there's barely any frame dips or anything I'm I'm not very good at this game while playing it on a controller right now but we're not doing too bad so let's kill the Nazis and then we'll, we'll sum this up with I'm gonna need to do a follow-up video with uh, you know w what I, I kind of expected out of this and h how it turned out and I'm gonna have to kill all the Nazis and then get back to you guys but I really enjoy this little console that I've created. It is super awesome. You get access to your Steam library. You're gonna play most games, you know, even if you have to put the you know settings on low. It's not gonna play 4K. It's not going to uh, you know blow the you know it away as if it had a dedicated graphics card. But you know, uh, going back six months, putting everything in here, I definitely need to put a GPU in here to get this performance and that's where this APU has really uh, come into its own and there's no product out there like it it's, it's pretty cool so I've killed some Nazis I've shoved an APU inside of an Xbox it's working I got the GPU overclocked a bit the rest of it's at stock the memory is at 3200 or uh, sorry the memory is at 3000 right now I just happen to set it because that's what the, the profile of the memory is but once I get this all tweaked up and we, you know, do a little bit of configuring. Maybe I come up with, uh, you know, another cooling solution for this. Maybe I'll even delit it. I think delitting it might be the option, but, uh, or, or might be the answer to getting the temperatures down, you know, just enough to really get a good overclock on the the spire. But we'll have to see. But uh, in the end, like, look at, it's an Xbox. There's, you know, a. a HDMI on the front to put your uh, controller and uh, it's really sturdy it's clipped all together with the original clips it's it's you know fairly light the hard drives are in this hard drive tray and uh, there's some RGB lighting even so I'm I'm just super impressed with this like I don't know if you guys want to see more projects like this I'm down to put like uh, I don't know a GTX 1080 Ti inside of a ColecoVision if that's what you guys want to see but I'm at watch Jimmy Joe Instagram and Twitter and uh, I'm just I'm super happy about killing zombies on my Xbox that I made okay and uh, you know if you guys want to support me on Patreon that'll help more stuff like this happen uh, Timmy Joe uh, on Patreon, patreon.com slash Timmy Joe. I also uh, would love to accept some uh, cool old hardware if you have any. Me at Timmy Joe, give me an email. Uh, and uh, as always, you could buy you know parts like the this stuff is in the uh, description of Amazon affiliate links. That's like a super good way to help me out. Is if you're buying stuff already, might as well use my links. But uh, yeah, I'm going to keep doing stuff like this in the future. We'll do some more testing on the APU. I know I haven't shown any game benchmarks, but everyone under the sun's reviewed this already. I thought I'd do something more unique with it, which was pretty cool. But uh, I definitely need to do a little bit more tweaking on it. But I'm excited to just put it underneath my TV unit and it'd be, you know, a pretty freaking awesome uh, like little console and no one's going to know that, hey, why do you have an Xbox 360 still? I thought you liked PCs. I'm going to be like, you bet I do. So I'll see you guys in another video. I'm going to go find some more Nazis to kill because that's my favorite pastime is just killing, killing Nazis.